Here we represent surgical technique of novel meniscal scaffold. No conflict of interest. Degenerative meniscal tears are generally considered to be irreparable. In this video, we introduce a novel meniscal scaffold and describe the arthroscopic implantation technique for this scaffold. This is a representative case of the meniscal complex tear combining horizontal and flap tear at the medial posterior form of the meniscus that had already undergone degenerative changes. A partial meniscectomy was performed in the degenerative area by using oval punch and shaver. The defect size was 14 mm of depth and 16 mm of width. The age of the remnant meniscus was considered sufficient to stimulate meniscus cell regeneration. The second step was scaffold preparation. A rain suture was set at the center of the scaffold. The size of implanted scaffold was set to 1 to 2 mm oversize of the defect with a scalpel used to trim the scaffold as needed. The anterior medial portal was used to place the segmented scaffold at the appropriate intraarticular location using a grasper. The scaffold was then sutured using an inside out technique to the adjacent native menisci. Suturing of the scaffold to the posterior form is technically demanding. As such, we recommend that suture tension should therefore be regulated through the medial of the meniscus. The stability of the implanted scaffold was confirmed with probing and knee motion. Thank you.